Hey, it's 2am with Jason here. Hope you're doing well. Um, great message this morning. I uh, hope you guys, if you've not heard it, hope you get a chance to see it. It is uh, uh, challenging and, um, and encouraging. And, and one of the things that really stuck out to me was um, was just the, the necessity for us as Christians to be able to hear God's voice and be able to trust Him that He knows what He's talking about. As, as Nate talked about how um, the disciples who were sent in to go find the upper room and, and the directions they received, and yet, um, and they obeyed. And because they obeyed, God um, was able to bless them and, and show them uh, this great place. And so I started thinking about that. You know, it's easy when it's actually Jesus uh, telling you to say, oh, this is Jesus' voice, because it literally is him. Um, but how do we know? Uh, we were talking about this in my Bible class the other day, and, uh, and one of the students asked him, Mr. Christian, but how do I make sure that the voice that I'm hearing is Jesus, because I don't want, get this, I don't want to be listening and then follow a voice and find out later it's not Jesus. And I said, that's the exact important thing for us to figure out is how can we know what God's voice is? And it made me think about, um, you know, when it came to uh, the, the story of Elijah. Now, Elijah is a man who knew God well. And um, and yet, there's a point where he, he got lost in the in the, the noise that was around and and you look at um, chapter 18 uh, of uh, first Chronicles and and he is uh, um, great things are happening Mount Carmel's there and uh, 850 prophets die and uh, he challenged them and God came through and it was great and then the rain comes but then Jezebel uh, says you know you're dead I'm gonna get you and, and he runs for his life. And he runs 200 miles away. And, and as he's running for his life, it's, it's interesting. He, he's like, I just want to die. And he lays down. And, and God's just like, no, no, that's, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen yet. And an angel feeds him twice. And, and after that, um, God spoke to hey, go to here and, and I'm going to meet you uh, there. And so he ends up on Mount Horeb. And, and he's there. And, um, and it says, first, you know, the wind comes, and this huge wind comes, and it's ripping things apart, and God wasn't in that. And then, then the earthquake comes, and, and God wasn't there. And then a fire comes, and God wasn't there. And then verse 19 comes along, and it says, um, uh, the New Revised Standard Version says, uh, it was sheer silence. Um, other versions say a whisper came. and uh, but, but he's standing at the edge of this cave, and he, he hears God, and God says, mm, you are not alone. I still have plans. This is still what I want to do. And I, I'm, I'm saving you. There's still a big plan that I need you to do. And that's to go find Elisha and, 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 and grab a hold of him. And I have plans for him too. And, and you can't quit yet. There are big things I have in store. I think sometimes that we, we're afraid of this this of what God wants to do. And, and we don't hear the great plans that he has. And, and he says, man, I have so much more. I just wish you were listening. I really wish you were listening. So I started thinking about those competing voices to make sure. And, you know, sometimes it's it's the Joneses that we're trying to keep up with next door. And 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 we, we hear the voices of, of comparison, of pride, and, and they distract us from what God's voice is saying. Sometimes it's um it's the society pages either in the in the grocery aisles we're walking out the checkout, or or maybe it's on you know Facebook or Instagram and, and those those voices that tell us this is what you should be doing, this is what you should be wearing, this is how you should be feeling. Um, these are the insecurities you should have, and, and and it whispers all those lies that Satan has. Or maybe it's the talking heads on TV telling you the news uh, or what news they want you to hear and how they want you to feel about it. Um, or maybe it's even just our own voice, because sometimes <laughs> our own voice is the most dangerous thing because we don't have other people that we're bouncing ideas off of or listening to what God has. Or whatever the voice is, God says, I, I want you to listen to me. Um you know, in, in Matthew uh, 6, 6, it says, whenever you pray, uh, I want you to go into your closet, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your father who's unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Um, I was watching a, a, a video for uh, some continuing education and, and some challenges for where youth are today. And as I was watching it, this guy was talking. He's like, hey, listen, I was not where I needed to be. But let me tell you about my mom. She's a prayer. And let me tell you about her prayer closet. And he showed a picture of this, and it was a little closet, and it had post-its all up and down from different things of different things she had prayed for, different things that she was praying for, things that got an answer to prayer, and it just really grabbed the hold of me because here's a woman who was dedicated 
to saying, I want to hear your voice, God. And if you want to hear God's voice, he will share it with you. And so that's my challenge and encouragement to you today is to, 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 to sift through the sounds and the other voices and make sure that what you're hearing is God and to make sure that you're willing then to say, okay, God, you have these great things. You, he, he who calls us equips us. And so if he calls you to something great, he's going to equip you for that because um, it's not on your power, but on his power. And so remember that today and, uh, and be encouraged. Um, he's got a big plan. He, has, he wants to whisper in your ear, um, clear, the, clear the voices, and he already has today. Thanks. See you next time.